Hello and welcome back to Beyond Home for our Farming Simulator 15 Let's Play with FS Panda Mushroom. How you doing everybody? I hope you all had a good Easter. Oh, I'm here with the chickens. Yeah. I don't know if any of you paid over the Easter, but I come over here just, you know, while I was doing everything. Come in, walked in, and all of a sudden there was this freaky bunny staring at me from this hatch. I mean, I got my chainsaw and I tried to... But nothing happened, you know. And then there was all different coloured eggs splattered all about, so, that, you know, that was a sort of Easter thing. But there you go. Right. So, if anybody didn't see last time, how you collect your eggs out of your shed, because they're all put on a nice line for you. That is it. Job done. Eggs collected. So, where's that rooster? Ah. Look, it, the chainsaw don't even work on him either. <sighs> never mind, never mind. Right, let's get away from these noisy chickens. I say, I hope everybody had a good Easter. And look at that beautiful sunrise. What are we doing? Corn. Corn, corn, corn. We've gone absolutely nuts again with corn. Why? Because we're going to start BGA this time. As you can see, we've got a stonking load of uh, shackles over in the top right hand corner. I've been doing a load of work and um, been going a bit crackers with the odd tree coming down now and again. So, first things first, we'll go and get a JD. A JD7180 Forager. There you go. And we need a JD front. Bump, bump, job done. Let's tap over to it. There you go. Looks quite a nice machine. It's not bad, it's nicely. You know, yeah, it looks good. Don't sound too bad. Let's have a quick gauzy inside. A bit plainy, plainy, but it doesn't matter. It's just a uh, different to, you know, having the crone. Let's take this to where we want it. And what a row, row. Bit wishy washy to stick you some four wheel drives on and diff locks and God knows what else and brakes and yeah, anything else that giants didn't give you. Okay. Right. Off we go. Um, yes, right. What are we going to do? We are going to do some harvesting, but this time we're going to do chaffing and we're going to try and fill the BGA up. But filling the BGA up, we're going to try with course play. Ha ha ha. Try. In big, big inverted commas. So to speak. Rawr. Let's just slide into every building going. Yeah, course play. Your best friend and your worst enemy. Does your head in. It's there to help you, but it also makes this nice peaceful game frustration and uh, game rage when it doesn't work 
what I'd do is I'll open this up. Ain't the the head is not as wide as um, the crown, but hey, never mind. Put the pipe out. I think we've got even lights on the pipe. Oh yeah, look. Let's switch this off for a minute. No, in fact we won't. Keep it on. And since we've got 150,000 left, I might go and buy that field over there, but we do that in a minute. Right. Let's go and get ourselves a trailer. Shall we take the big one or which one? That's 45, I think that's 38. Let's just look in the shop because I know I've got one off Giants' website. So, in bailing, baseball. Is it in trailers then? Yeah, how much is that? 36,000. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'll try these two to start with. Now, which is the heaviest trailer? I think this one might be the heaviest, so we put this on the, the so called bigger machine. Um, <laughs> we will go and get a bit of char, bit of char. I don't think we're going to need it to set up the course, but you never know. Whoa! Okay, let's just slide down the hill. Everything's sliding today. Go on then, JD. Harry, give it. Put a pedal to the metal. Go. Go. Wrong one. It would help if a dozy panda would press H, wouldn't it? Ah, yeah, that works better. go to the end of the row or back whichever the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't know how much room they're gonna need because there's that fence there and course play being course play you know it's any obstacle it's gonna find even if there was a a, a portable toilet sitting in a field you know 30 fields away, it's still going to find it and get into it. Come on. That's it. So a couple of headers off it should do. Looks nice. Yeah, hopefully you you lot didn't eat too much chocolate. Let's just jump out, jump in, dismiss the worker a minute. Just turn that off a second. Ooh, got a little dingy dingy bells. Turn it off a second so we can set this course up to run to the BGA. Okay. Right, we put 
put it on a straight bit road. Let's just say we want it on. It's going to be empty combine off load because it's not overloading, it's not fertilizing seeding, it's not transfer, and it's not field work. It's not manure transport, and it's not fill an empty shovel. Let's just check all that. BGA on load. I might turn that down to two, but it probably won't because if it's gone from the recording, then it's going to take what I did. Okay, let's start course recording. One green thing, two green things. close to this I'm trying to keep away from this fence because it's bound to hit the fence and as I said if you, if you noticed uh, a few trees have gone down here as well I'm on the wrong side but never mind I'm trying to stay away from this building up here so yeah that's a field we're going to buy if we've got enough money so we come down the hill Give it some breaks because I know what it's like. It's going to slide all over the place. So we can go across the road straight into the BGA. And I think we're going to this bunker. Unload a little bit. Pull away. I think we come out this way. Should have probably come in across the, <laughs> the way bridge. Come back out. We should be able to Yeah, rock straight up there. I know it's cut a little bit of the road out, but never mind. I'm keeping to the side just in case because there is going to be two tractors running doubt very much if they're going to be running at the same time but you never know so I'm going to go this way up the side of this field 37 it there so stop course recording okay that's um what's what fields is 23 so let's put uh f 23 to 
unload. Oh, be right, that's about it right. Unload at BGA. Save. Okie dokie. Right, what we do is we just go and cut the head off this side and then we will set up um, Harry and Peter on the cosplay. We put the uh, other tractor, well I know I've got three tractors but, 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 there's something else I want to do. I will explain. Because this tree is quite close, and their tree is quite close, and this cliff is quite close. Of course, play. Yeah. I just tap. Oh, that was the right one. Come on in, Harry, let's move you over. Oh, how are you not getting on with a JCB pack if you bought it? Hopefully, the uh, mod review I did on it would uh, was helping you. Decide. As far as I've heard, nothing on the 1.3 patch which is I think getting a few people a bit annoyed and a bit you know that they're taking their money and they're still not doing it but obviously they're working on it so we just got to give them time it's still a brilliant game no matter how you spin it It'd be even better if it worked a better, but hey. Oh. Sorry, Harry. God, that's probably totally mocked out of. It wasn't my fault, it was, it was that bunny who jumped in my way, I couldn't see. Sorry, Harry. So we take him to the end again. Just jump out. Jump in. And my tractor's off down the road. Bye! Who's driving my tractor? I'd, I'd just run down the road, don't worry about it, you know. Okay. Here's that bunny again. Must be a were rabbit or something. Mm. Uh, come on, get up there. Well, I'm gonna start this, and I bet he takes a big big circle there's a bit dozy course play is gonna spin round right let's drive course no combine in reach drive behind the combine 
Okay, let's turn round and fall down the hill. Oh no. No. <laughs> Why are you going on the crops? Um, I thought there was a thing on here to... So he didn't drive on the crops. Activate, da da da. From recording. Select manual. No. No. Oh, okay then. But I don't understand why he's driving on the crops. Never mind. Okay, right. Driving next. To combine. So we we'll stick with him for a minute, or we go and get. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Try tab. Ah, uh, better. We we'll go and get this one, and we set him up with the other trailer. I'm hoping. I mean, it's got 160 horse. I think this one, isn't it? T6 Where am I thinking of the T8? No, I think it's 160 horse T6 So we will grab him on this trailer Hopefully he has got enough guts to tug this about Because this is a front loader, this one's going to be on control delete, left control delete to bring it up. Empty combine, let's um, go and find course. There you go, load that one. Just go through and check, deactivated. Activate, otherwise, you are never going to get anywhere if you don't have your four wheel drive activated. Uh, JD, yep, that's it. Drive course. Oh, that's interesting. This one says following tractor. Oh, yeah. Are you going to stop there? You are having a laugh. It's because I told you that his cosplay is your best friend, and yet it sends him down the hill. So you stop driving. See if we can get up sideways slightly. So maybe we have to take a bit more of a header off this side. Are you going to move that tractor then, or what, dude? No? Yeah, we're a bit stuffed now, aren't we? As far drive course, he's going to go straight into that one. Sheesh, I told you. Your best friend and your worst enemy. Stop driving, let's move you out of the way. Now drive course. Drive behind combine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh dear. 
New Holland is slipping. Yeah, that might be because you. Alright, come on. Wait until fill level. Drive now. Let's send you off to the BGA, see if you sort yourself out. I know you're not full, but let's just check, see if you're unloading properly at the BGA. Sheesh, oh, I don't know. It's all good fun. Once we've checked this is unloading properly, we can get on with what we were going to get on with. Quite close to that fence, isn't it? I can see it getting snagged up on that once or twice. See, course play doesn't recognise any obstacles, so that's our oh, the problem. But you can't have everything. Why is taking such a wide turning circle to get behind the combine? Yeah, anybody's guess. Well, this bit seems to be working at the moment. We'll find out once it starts dumping in the BGA. In New Orleans, 32%, so something's working right somewhere. Tip trigger reached. It's open the back doors already. That's interesting, it was tipping already in the, with the animation on the trailer. It ain't even tipped anything. It has now. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's worked quite nice. Okay, let's see. Leave uh, Peter and Perky and Harry to do it. Maybe. Maybe. Are oh, you are joking? You are joking me. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, of course you're slipping. It's because you tried to go round a tree, you... Oh, what? Drive. You're going to turn around again and get stuck on the same tree, aren't you? <laughs> oh, don't you just love it? Come on. This tree is going to have to come out then, isn't it? The next time. This has took the diff locks off. That's the only thing. I mean, drive control's nice, but because it takes the diff locks off, you also leave, you lose some of your traction. So that's drive course. You should be able to spin round now. I don't think it's going to make any difference if I tighten the um, turning circle because. The trailer's so big it's sliding sideways anyway. Right. A 
and the other one's coming across the crops. I didn't think they were supposed to do that anymore in course play. And he's going to follow this tractor. So, yeah, things might, if we can get that top end sorted out, might be playing ball now. Okay. Oh. It would do if stupid panda didn't press the wrong key again, didn't he? I was supposed to be pressing tab and I pressed on Q. Ah, oh, so... tab. Okay. <sighs> right, what's next? What's next? I don't know. Oh dear. What I'll do is I'll give you a double length episode this episode. Because of Easter, you know, sort of. Um, put, put us behind, so I'll give you a double episode today. Right, why have I picked up the plow? I picked up the plow because you are having a Jeffrey geezer. Oh no, right, he's what's he slipping on? Why the heck have you gone right over? Oh. There's no way he should have come out this far to turn round. Let's just try his turning circle. It's 12 metres. I don't think he's going to do it at 9 but let's drive why is turning so wide to try and get behind him he might have done it because he's got loads of room ok right can I get on with what I was getting on with now. Yes! <laughs> See? Course play. Your best friend and your worst enemy. A plow. I have a plow because there's a new mod that I want to put in there when I've got enough money which is the sawmill. And I'll just show you in the shop. Sawmill is by Mahu and it's under placeables and it's going to cost us 250,000 quid to buy and a maintenance 275 quid a day and it says this placeable sawmill that makes pallets with board and wood chips from logs the plate can be sold at the spinnery i.e. your pallets can be sold at the spinnery where you sell your wool but it has to be placed on flat land. Hmm. Right. Flat land in Bjornholm is very hard to find. There is this little bit here that we could put it on. I'll show you what. I'll go around the map, so bear with me. Where I've potentially found places that is flat enough to um, oh, New Orleans fall so he should be on his way 
the same as took over. Yeah. Right. Can I digress? Flat land. Flat enough for this um, sawmill to go on. There's this bit here that we could possibly go, but it starts going uphill. So there's this bit here. That's got a hum. There's possibly... I'm not sure... No, this has got a hum. Unless it's flat in the corner there. See what I mean? There, it's, it's very hard to find a fairly decent sized flat bit. There's slopes, most of the field slope. That's got slopes. Alright, I'm going to just cut over here. This is all sloping. I mean, it is a decent sized place, but it slopes. Don't, I don't think it's big enough. Oh, we can just nip and sell our eggs. That place would be nice, but it slopes. Seems like we've got some eggs. How many eggs we got? 124. We've got 150. 4,000, so how many are we going to get for 50? 124x. Oh! Just over a grand. That's not bad. 20... 120x. Right, where else was I looking? Uh, there's a bit at the back here. There might be, you know, one or two other places that are possibilities here we'd have to clear the trees but this looks fairly flat in there if you're looking for a place the place that I've picked that I'm gonna do it though hence I've got the plow because now you've got this grass you can't just cultivate it out like you used to in 13 which would have been a lot lot easier you have to um, plough it and then cultivate it to get rid of it because obviously if you mow it it's still going to grow back it doesn't matter so if you want a nice neat and you don't want all the grass to grow through the base plate it is the only option is to plough it out there's a flat-ish bit there. I'm hoping where I picked is gonna be flat enough. Because I've cleared the trees already. <laughs> uh, yeah. Chainsaw happy. Chainsaw happy panda. And also, it's, it's quite a decent sighted place where I've picked because you've got the um, bio chippy, wood chippy place there and just up from here is where you sell your wool which is at the end of field um, 20... 29 no, 28 which is just up there to the right yeah, so this bit here is what I was thinking of but obviously we've got to get rid of the grass so that's why I brought the plough down So we've got to plough this, I'm afraid. Is that going to just get by that? Oh, yeah. So I will put GPS on. Hmm. 
no, and auto it. The other thing we've got to do is press O on the plow to allow create field. So the only thing is when if you're um, using it again remember to take it off allow field because <laughs> if you start plowing your field you, you're all of a sudden going to uh, get a bigger field. Yeah. So just be aware of that. And me being me, I'm going to go back over the same line just to make sure. But I'm going to turn the plow. Because I want it fairly neatish looking. Alright, oh, they both got snagged up now. Is that going to hit that? Oh! Oops. I'm having terrible trouble. That wasn't good. I didn't want to do all that. Oh dear Panda, what are you doing? It's because I'm concentrating on too many different things now. So we have to come along and fix that up. Alright, let's go and see Eeny Meeny. He's 100% so he wants to go and empty. So he's rammed into him. So stop him and reverse him. This is the only thing with having two. You do get traffic jams occasionally. Right. Let's lift that and we need to flip that back over again, don't we? So this was supposed to be all neat and I've got all mixed up with me fingers and it's not quite worked out that way, is it? But we can fix it. Sort of. Hopefully. Maybe. No all and slipping. What are you done? Wrap yourself around a tree again? And wait. Probably just as quick to reverse than turn it around.
change the direction. Once we're doing it properly, it's not going too bad. Just got to line it up properly. This is probably going to smash into that cabinet there. need to bring a cultivator over as well so let's do this side and then sort out Mr. New Holland spin the plough around Check it to new. Yeah, if you want, you can make it quite. Yeah, if you don't press the wrong buttons and go screwy, you can make it quite neat. <laughs> Apart from if you're the panda, and make a total cockle. Turn the GPS off and go and sort our New Holland person. Love it, yeah. Well, look, if there's a tree, he's gonna find it, any. So it looks like I have to knock some more trees out. Working so well. Right, drive course now. 
Let's see what tree you get wrapped up on this time. Back to our little ploughing thing then. I say I, I'm doing this because I don't want the grass to. Um, show through because I think it doesn't look that good uh, on the mixing station no, I didn't do this and it looks not the best not doing this properly so I'll probably get a few comments that your ploughing skills are, are crap <laughs> oh dear. but it's just basically to get it ready to cultivate it so it looks a bit neater you most of it you probably won't even see because it'd be under the base plate. I need to do a bit more work um, to get the 250,000 to get the sawmill so I will do that between them here in the next episode hopefully and then we're gonna sort of have to um, get it up and running so that's gonna take an episode or two we're just gonna have to chop down a load more trees and stuff like that um, it needs fuel so it brings another dimension to the the game again from Maru and all credit to him he, he got disgruntled at the beginning and he basically said that's it I'm leaving I've had enough everybody's nicking me work not giving me credit things like that and he did he, he, he sort of left but he's now he must love the game which I'm glad because you think of something, it's it's like him and pigs. Everybody was saying, Oh, we need something else, and he called pigs. Cracking. Brilliant idea. And now he's come up with a sawmill, which adds another dimension to the game. You know, you're not just cutting the logs, taking them and selling them. Now you're cutting them, transferring them to the sawmill. You need other stuff to run the sawmill. So you need fuel in either wood chips or um, straw or you can even use the pallets that you cut off he's wrapped up in the trees again Eesh. yeah you can use uh, the pallets so you've got to interact more with it now it's not just chopping trees down transporting them, selling them, or chipping them. Now you've got pallets that you've got to take away, you've got wood chips that you've got to take away. something that a giant should have thought of to be honest because they've got the wall pallets and now with him doing this
you load it up you have to keep an eye on it because when it gets to 100% it does stop working right let's see if you get wrapped up this time Mr New Holland See, that was quite a tight circle. I can't understand why he's not doing quite a tight circle all the time. He's just being awkward. And why I think about it, I will go and buy that field over there. Why? While I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you, you sell your wood, your wool, just down there, so I'll buy this field, then we'll nip in to see where you sell your wool, and where I'm going to place the uh, sawmill is in a good location for both getting rid of your wood chips and getting rid of your pallets. So you get, well, it, in... don't know if I've got it on I might have it on uh, easy on my mod review so you get slightly more money but I think I've got about near on 8,000 for where's there for a pallet oh 66,000 we're out of that we're out of that look we're expanding even more another field to our hat Saw the cores playing it. They're playing nicely at the minute. So we are cracking away. So we're going to have the sawmill up and running soon. Yeah, you come in here to sell your wall pallets. Oh, I'm not even starting my wall pallets, which is fair. It's a fair track away from the sheep. Yeah, it says selling point for wool. Because if you look at the map, we're down near 28, 23. Your sheep are right over near field 4, which is right over in the far corner. So to get rid of your wool pallets from your sheep, that's a fair track. That's halfway across the map. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Why can't New Holland do that? Why indeed? I've also noticed the course play in um, if it's running behind a vehicle it go right up and it'll be pushing it like this quite funny really course play road rage <laughs> uh, I do love it right oh let's just Just jump out and see what the BGA is on. It's on 18%. 167,000 almost in there, and it's on 18%. Blimey. Oh, and they're finished. Right. Well, with that, I think I'll. I will get on with this. I'll set them up on the next field. And, uh, yeah. We will crack on away, and I'll do a bit of more wood cutting by the looks of it. If we have got some stuff in our storage. So, look how many fields we own now. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine fields now. We own this nice cluster here. 
we might I don't know whether to go over this side next or go have a look at 34 and 39 over this side but maybe it could be 33, 27 and go this way and then probably go back this way but we will see we might even buy 41 because that's right near the BGA oh we own 40 as well so we've got 10 fields now cracking so we're on 10 fields we're growing nicely um, we've got some stuff in we've got 142,000 of wheat we've got no barley we've got 52,000 of canola we got 112,000 wood chips that I've been stuffing away because I just killed the price of wood chips. So we need some barley and I might cut a field or two of corn depending on how much the BJ fills up. But what's the price of silage? Silage is uh, £1,600 a tonne. We may, may, depending on the price wait for a great demand but they are so far you know between getting great demands that we might not wait but we've also upped our cows to 90 cows so we've got 90 cows as well so we've got 10 fields 90 cows 50 she uh, chickens all this new equipment we are stonking storming away so we're doing a great job and thank you everyone that watches me I much appreciate it so yeah with that till next time this is FS Panda Mushroom take care bye bye